Hello, grade 10, and uh, welcome to a new reading comprehension lesson with a new theme, sports and recreation. Uh, the lesson is called Muhammad Salah is MVP of the world. For all you Liverpool fans out there, this lesson should be thrilling. Okay, so by the end of this lesson, you will be able to discuss ideas related to sports and recreation, figure out the meanings of unfamiliar vocab words and terms, related to the theme, answer referential, inferential, and critical thinking questions related to the text, and draw a character sketch. Okay, before we begin the lesson, of course, we need to answer some discussion questions related to the theme. Now, first of all, what does the term recreation mean? Okay, it's not recreation, it's recreation. Uh, recreation refers to what we do in our free time, what we do for fun. Uh, uh, recreation means leisure and fun. Those are synonyms for the word. And not name different types of recreation, of course, sports, playing video games, reading. It varies from one person to another. Um, having a nice meal. Now, three, why do you think that sports are so popular. Okay, uh, sports are popular for several reasons. First of all, if we play sports, if we practice sports, it, give us, it gives us this sense of competition. It, it gives us this, uh, you know, uh, this sense of, uh, of confidence, of determination. Okay. Uh, playing sports uh, uh, brings people together. There's an enjoyment in the game where those playing it feel a sense of excitement. There's a challenge. There's a competition. Whether you are playing uh, individual sports like tennis, there, there's always determination and competition and a challenge. Or you're, you're playing as a team. You compete with other teams, which also brings people together when they work together as a team. Moreover, we know that hundreds of millions of people like to watch sports over the world. Watching sports uh, games is another highly popular recreational activity. People gather together to root for their favorite team, player, or for their national team, for example. Again, for the sense of excitement they get, uh, for the for the sort of the unity and, uh, and the harmony that occurs if we're rooting for the same team. That's why many people who support a certain club, for example, like to watch a game together. So it's a sort of recreational activity. It is a recreational activity. Question number four, how are professional sports figures influential among the youth? Youth is the noun for the young. How are they influential to them? How do they have an impact on them, influence? Many sports figures such as Ronaldo, LeBron James, Vanessa Williams, Muhammad Salah are immensely popular among the youth. Uh, the youth idolize them. They look at them as idols. They buy the products that they endorse. They follow them uh, every bit and piece of their life. They follow it on social media. Uh, they're role models. Moreover, a player such as Muhammad Salah, the Liverpool forward, has become a source of pride to the people of Egypt, the place where he comes from, the country where he comes from. So now let's move on to our vocab words, words and terms you need to know. Number one, you have the word prolific. Prolific, when you are creative and productive. Accolades are awards. For example, Juventus has earned several accolades over the past two years trophies okay championships professional a highly qualified person highly qualified who gets paid to do a certain job okay prof professional football player a professional singer a professional dancer the antonym or the opposite of that would be the amateur we took that also last year professional. The amateur is just a beginner. Okay. Mimic. To mimic means to copy or to imitate. Hindered. Hindered means made it difficult for someone to do something or you put obstacles. 
for that person or for that thing. The weather hindered our plans for a nice picnic. Mediocre. Mediocre means not so good. The player's performance in last time's match, in last night's match, was mediocre. Integrity. The quality of being honest and having moral standards. Does he have enough integrity to, uh, to be a, a banker, for example? Pediatrician. A pediatrician is a person who treats children. A doctor or a practitioner who treats children's diseases. Pediatrician. Neurons. Neurons are nerve cells. Cognitive, again, cognitive is anything relating to the mind and thinking. When we grow older and older, our cognitive abilities start to diminish. Fickle changes frequently. He has a fickle mind. He changes his opinion every day. Changes frequently. Now, our lesson, lesson one in this unit, Muhammad Salah is MVP of the world. This is an article from the magazine Bleacher Report by Sam Burns. Muhammad Salah is nothing if not prolific, meaning creative. He is everything else too, because his emotional 2017-2018 season had it all. Notice the introduction here. There was his production on the pitch. He bagged 44 goals in 52 appearances for Liverpool and routinely made world-class defenders and goalkeeper look like deer on ice skates. The accolades awards. He won the English Premier League's Player of the Season award and the Golden Boot. Uh, those of you who follow football know this uh, fact very well. And he could legitimately ultimately challenge Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo for this year's Ballon d'Or, football's highest individual honor. His swagger, he mesmerized fans with his blistering pace, his speed, his silky touch on the ball, his wavy hair, and his lethal eye for the back of the net. He had a deadly eye. He sees the back of the net, he can get a goal. In Liverpool, Salah's shine may have only been bested by Roberto, Roberto Firmino's teeth. And the leadership. So they're all talking about attributes of Salah. And the leadership. He earned Liverpool a first Champions League final appearance since 2007. And with LeBron James-like heroics, dragged Egypt to its first World Cup in 28 years. Salah had that kind of year. But his rising global worldwide fame has as much to do with what happened off the pitch as what happened on it, the pitch, the field. He showed time and again that he was a man of decency and moral integrity. So uh, an honest man. He has morals. He started building a school and a hospital in his uh, hometown of Nagreek and formed a charity organization there. He showed how down-to-earth he is as well. Down-to-earth meaning he's humble, regularly engaging with his fans on social media. I don't think there's any reason for anyone not to be humble, Salah told BR in May. Okay, of course, I refers to Salah here. Paragraph 5, he also helped unite a wide range of people at a time in which divisiveness has been swelling. That he could do all this as an openly devout Muslim, he was devout, meaning he was a faithful Muslim, only confirms the extent to which he affects people. Islamophobia, meaning the fear of Islam, okay, all over the world, may be on the rise, but when Salah celebrates a goal by touching his head to the field and raising his index finger, a profession of faith, we know that in Islam, okay, fans adore him so much that they mimic him. Okay, the fans, even the Christians, everybody, they would mimic what Salah would do when he gets a goal, thanking God. Part of why Salah's appeal has been so wide and far-reaching has to do with his ability to remain largely apolitical. Apolitical here means opposite of political, 
not political. A in this case is a prefix meaning not. While not hiding his relationship with Islam, he says, okay, I'm a Muslim, but I'm not political. I do not want to politicize my religion. He's not one of the grand political, uh, one of grand with the grand political statements so much as he genuinely hopes to reflect his faith as ordinary. It's just part of who he is. On the pitch, Salah's World Cup didn't go as planned. A shoulder injury suffered in the Champions League final hindered his play, and his team's performance suffered as a result. There was a quintessentially Salah moment, a goal of equal parts guile, pace, and opportunism against Saudi Arabia. It didn't translate into a victory, though. They did not win. Many wonder what will come of Salah's new stature in the coming year. Could he outpace the glow up and drama of 2017 or 2018, 2017-2018? Possibly. Can he prove that he's not a single season phenomenon, but a bona fide breakout star? We shall see. Okay, we guys, we all know that uh, we are now uh, in the future. Um, this article was written in 2018. We all know that he did keep his uh, his pace. He did keep his image. He is still a champion. He should have plenty of chances to do that at Liverpool with reinforcement on the way and a freshly signed deal that will keep him at Anfield through 2023. That's uh, where Liverpool play. Future world record bids from Real Madrid, Barcelona, PSG notwithstanding. But foot, football is a fickle game. It changes. Okay? It's history littered with scoring sensations who failed to sustain their goal output and faded into mediocrity. A Michoes career denouncement that Salah will be desperate to avoid. So uh, the, the, the author was a bit skeptical. Will he keep up his standards? Will he keep up its performance? We already know it. Yes, he did. One thing is for certain. One thing is for sure. It increasingly seems as if Salah's fame is no longer solely dependent on how many goals he scores. A few days after he made his exit from the World Cup, Salah returned to Egypt only to find that his home address had been leaked on Facebook when hundreds of adoring fans showed up outside his home. Salah did not hide. He went out to sign autographs and greet them. Even in defeat, he still Mo Salah, Muhammad Salah, an Arab Muslim celebrity footballer at the peak of the sport, a man whom the world adores, and his presence, whether or the whether on the international stage or on his front doorstep, is meaningful. Okay, now let's go to the exercises. This is what a character sketch looks like. So. I want you to fill in the following chart with four adjectives describing Salah's personality or a character sketch as depicted in the above article. You guys probably have several um, adjectives in mind. He is faithful. We said that. He's perseverant. He, he kept on. Agile. Fast. Phenomenal. He is a phenomena. Okay, not ordinary. He's influential. He has a lot of influence on his fans, on the people who like him. Very competitive. Um, uh, humble. We can say that. It's not written. I just wanted six. He's humble. Uh, um, he's not a snob, of course. And among others. So uh, this is it for today's lecture. We have uh, discussed ideas related to sports and recreation. We have figured out, talked about meanings of unfamiliar words and terms related to the theme. We have answered a question related to um, character sketch, of course. Now you know how to write or draw a character sketch. Uh, okay, and uh, we will talk about this more. We will answer more questions, of course, during the Zoom live session. So until then, please take care and thank you for listening. Bye-bye.